Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now Huawei just launched themselves a brand new laptop and it's actually called the MateBook 14 that I have here and as well as uh, at the side. Now this laptop is what Huawei is calling the fashionable AI laptop and the reason for that is because fashionable, they're actually very trendy and they're targeted at younger people and of course in terms of the AI laptop, there's actually quite a fair bit of AI integration. Actually a lot of AI applications that run very smoothly on this MateBook 14. So in today's video, we're going to find out all about that and see who this laptop is really for. Let's begin the video right away. Now first things first, we should start off and talk a little bit about the design and the build. Now the design itself is actually quite nice. As you can see, it comes in two different colorways. The one here is actually the green, the one on the side is actually called the grey and this is because it's powered by different processors. We'll talk a bit about that later. Now what I really like about this uh, entire MateBook 14 is that just like other Huawei laptops, they're actually made really nicely. You have this very nice premium kind of build. There's rounded corners all around so you don't really you know like jack your palm or your hand into it. So it's going to be very comfortable and of course as you can see it's very easy to hold and that's because it's ultra thin and very very lightweight at the same time. Now there's a very quick note on the entire keyboard layout as well as the trackpad. The trackpad itself is not the largest out there but it still works very well i like the keyboard because it's actually very you know very silent to actually type on so you won't really disturb anyone beside you and just in terms of the display guys now this is actually a 14 inch display now what's cool about this is that the aspect ratio is a 3 by 2 so that means that you know viewing documents is just going to be so much better than a wider screen other than that it's also a 2.8k display that means it's very high res it's oled panel that means that all your colors will look very very good basically it just pops and you have those great viewing angles and the more important thing that i actually appreciate very much on most huawei laptops you know it's actually the touch screen display you actually have that on huawei laptops and i like that because it's just so much easier to navigate just like how you're navigating a tablet or maybe your own smartphone so it's always great to have two kind of inputs not just the mouse itself where you can use it to control but also using your finger or your hand just to like swipe over stuff and everything just happens very quickly so that's just in terms of the design basically a very lightweight machine that is super super slim right now let's move on to my next point over here just looking at my points on my desk and basically we are going to talk a bit about the AI features now I would like to say that this is actually a very capable laptop because it's actually being able to run all these AI applications very quickly now for that uh, we let's run over a couple of commonly used or I would say some new to you maybe some new AI features so the first one is actually a co-pilot and if you just look at the bottom right corner you can actually click the little icon there to activate your co-pilot and you can ask it all kinds of things uh, what I actually did here was you know just to check out a couple of itineraries since I was going to be traveling you know around in Bangkok so I just did a very quick test and naturally you can see that it actually responded very quickly you have all your answers in that right tab which is actually very neat uh, you can of course copy and paste anything from the tab itself into a document in case you want to create a proper itinerary now the second AI application that I actually use here and I think this is actually something that you uh, maybe if you are a working professional or a student this is something that you will appreciate very much and that's actually WPS AI now this is actually the first time I tried it out and I must say I was really impressed so the first thing that you could do is actually you can actually summarize it you can actually rewrite it you know put it in a different format you can have it in a table format it's all done very quickly and you can actually just one tap to actually adapt that into your current document I love that that's actually one of my favorite features in WPS AI now the second cool feature is again very very impressive and that's actually being able to summarize a very long PDF file all you need to do upload it to the WPS AI and it will summarize the entire report for you and also give references at each stage now what's even better you can actually even ask WPS AI a couple of questions about that PDF document so I was just asking like how many cars were sold by McLaren and you can see that it could actually answer the questions because it has already read the entire PDF file so very very impressive on WPS AI like I said at the beginning of the video let the computer do the work for you not just do the work yourself all right so let's move on to the next one now the third app that I actually tried out is actually called Filmora now this is actually sort of like a video editor and right now it actually comes with a couple more AI features you can actually just put in commands to you know, tweak the kind of videos that you're editing uh, there's also the Suno AI music creator now I'm not sure how uh, how creative you are but if you are not that creative maybe like me uh, you can actually just put in a prompt a very quick command and you know just click generate and the Suno itself will actually come up with a tune for you now the final application that I actually tried here is actually called Runway AI and it's actually quite a well known one so all you need to do is once again put in your prompt and it will generate any kind of image that you want so naturally I came up with a pretty interesting one I just wanted to see Sonic the Hedgehog running in a shopping mall so click that and you know right away you have that running now moving on another few more touches on AI is actually the AI sound and camera and this is basically to help you in 
video calls. So say for example, if you're making a video call, the Huawei MateBook 14 with AI itself will actually help to combine, you know, like better voice enhancement, ambient noise reduction, and of course a clearer recording of all your audios to really give you that strong, perfect audio whenever you're talking over the internet. Uh, other than that, it also has this AI camera, which has a couple of tricks built in as well, such as your virtual background. You have your eye contact to ensure that your eyes are always appear to look right at the camera. And you also have follow cam in case, you know, you're moving all around the camera. So you try to position you right in the middle. And of course, you can also turn off the webcam if you want that to happen. So all in all, I would say that my experience with the AI applications on the Huawei MateBook 14 is very fast and snappy. That's a key word there. And this is actually down to the performance of the laptop. Now let's move on to the next segment and talk a bit about the performance. Now the processor itself. Now this is actually being powered by the Intel Core Ultra processor. We have the Core Ultra 5 as well as the Core Ultra 7. And this actually gives you up to 40 watt of TDP performance. Now one cool thing to note is that there's actually a dedicated NPU on board to actually make all these AI applications run smoother and faster locally. Regardless of which model you choose, they will both be more than capable for your daily tasks as well as all those AI applications. Alright, so now that we've talked about the performance as well as the processor, another few cool features that you should take note of. Uh, number one, it does come with the Huawei MetaLine antenna. And again, you've seen this on previous Huawei laptops, where it's actually able to pull in stronger connections from your Wi-Fi. And this will actually give you like faster and more stable speeds. Pretty nice. You also have that Super Turbo 2.0 on board. And this is basically Huawei's algorithm for booster performance. Now the goal here is actually to launch apps quicker and more at the same time. And what I did was a very quick test. You can actually launch 20 documents at once without a sweat. Pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, the third one here will be actually the super device and that's actually something that again you might be familiar with and basically you can actually connect your external tablet, your own phone all together here for the entire Huawei ecosystem and you can actually enjoy stuff like mirroring your screens, extending your display and of course drag and drop across different kind of devices for that full multi-device collaboration setup. So that's pretty much what you can expect with the Huawei MateBook 14. Alright, last but not least, we have talked a bit about the battery life. Now what we have here is actually a 70 watt hour battery with 40 watt fast charge. Basically, it will be able to last up to 18 hours on a single charge, which should be good enough for you to use for a couple of days if you're just doing it for your main daily productive task. So there you have it, the Huawei MateBook 14, a very fashionable AI laptop that's going to be great for using on the daily. Again, it comes with a beautiful display, touchscreen display, very strong Intel Core Ultra processors, and the ability to run all those AI applications very smooth and quickly. Now, if you want to find out more about this laptop, I'll put in a link down below. The prices starts from RM4999 here in Malaysia. And for that, you're actually going to be getting quite a fair bit of freebies. Now, Huawei is always giving away a lot of freebies. Uh, yeah, if you have any further questions, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.